hello guys welcome back once again and happy new year to all in this video i am going to show you how to install scom agent on linux based systems okay so in my case it's a ubuntu 18 server okay i have also extended my lab environment so this is my lab environment architecture now so earlier i had only host one and uh, there were three vms who are running so windc sql and scom but i have another host that is joined using physical cable or ethernet cable okay and uh, on host two actually earlier i have created one to 16 but now i have one to 18 that is just installed okay so that's it so this is how the new architecture is so let's go to scom server and operation manager is already open so click on administration i think you already know where to go and then right click anywhere and click on discovery wizard and here you need to choose unix and linux computer so why i have again started with the agent installation because linux computer requires more inputs than the windows computers okay in windows computer simply just discover it but for linux the first thing is the linux mps must be installed on your uh, scom server and then the dns entries must be there so that it can be reachable using the name or ip address okay otherwise you are going to get some dns configuration error but in my case i have already done the dns configuration to make this video short and i have also created the video that the link is in the description so you can go through that video if you don't know how to configure dns okay and if you don't know even how to install linux system so i have uh, covered those things in the different video you can get it from the description and i think if you don't familiar with unix first go through that video and then come back to this one okay so without any delay let's go to next page and here you can see discovery criteria so there is no criteria right now i click on add and then here you can provide ip address or uh, fqdn name or range of uh, ip addresses okay so i have uh, 192.168.11.2 38 so this is the ip address of that computer or vm that i am going to monitor using this com so uh, before that you know if you if you are not sure you can just ping that uh, ip address because it should be reachable right from the com server there should not be any firewall that is uh, blocking that ip address okay so please make sure it is reachable so you can see i'm getting ping response let's go ahead and uh, look for other options like uh, discovery type discovery type is all computers so you can choose all computers and if you want only computers with an agent installed okay so if the agent is already installed on your vm then you can choose so you need to install agent as well as a signed certificate i'm choosing all computers if you need some more ip address you can add rows okay but in my case let me remove it and then the port ssh port is 22 and uh, one more thing is credentials okay how this scom server is going to connect to that uh, vm okay so click on set credential if you have a run as credential you can use if uh, that is configured but if not then you can simply click on set credential and uh, set that credential on the fly when you are searching for the vm or discovering the vm okay and here you get two options ssh key or username and password so ssh key is uh, definitely you know stronger but in my case i'm going to use username and password because ssh key is not configured so now the username so i have a username that i have created me and the password so confirm password it's not matching 
okay this account or username doesn't have the privilege so select account does not have privilege access because it's a normal user if you don't select it is not going to use sudo before uh, executing the command okay so that's why I choose this one uh, doesn't have privilege account access but if it is a root then you can but uh, you know real scenario root doesn't have the login access means you cannot uh, log on to any vm using root credentials directly you need jump jump box or something like that okay so in that case you can ask linux team to create a user and uh, provide you the credentials i think secure way is to get the ssh key okay but uh, if that is not available then you can ask for username here uh, the thing is uh, i'm not using the root so I need to use use SU elevation and then I need to provide the root password. Okay, I have entered root password over here and then click on apply and okay. So credential are set. Let's click on save and this is the discovery criteria on which scom is going to search for this vm okay so that's why the ip address or the name of the vm must be reachable from the scom because if it is not reachable it is not going to discover that and then target resource pool if you have a different resource pool for this vm or this type of vm then you can select that but in my case it's a all management server resource pool just keep that default one okay Actually, it is for management service, but uh, no issues. It's we are working in live environment right now, and then click on discover, and it will take few minutes, about one to two minutes, to discover that server. And one more thing is, uh, if you are using the IP address, then this server must be reachable using the name as well. So I have configured reverse lookup, so you can see I can reach to the vm using name and the ip address both if you are using ip address then reverse lookup must be or pointer must be created for this ip address because it is going to check for that okay it is going to check that uh, if uh, the scom is able to resolve from ip to name and name to ip both okay so both should be working if you are using ip address so here you can see this is the DNS entry for that VM and a pointer as well. Okay. Here you can see it has discovered one server and it is manageable means this SCOM can install agent and manage it. But if there is any issue related to DNS or any other issue, you can get it under the additional results. Okay, so you will get that uh, over here means the IP address is reachable, but there is some problem means uh, scom cannot manage the server okay in that case you know you will get the details so what is the error or if you click on that error you will get the whole uh, detail of that error why it is not able to manage that uh, computer okay and then you can understand if it is dns configuration then really it is going to be the dns related means you need to create a dns entry and if it uh, if it is dns entry is created then must be a pointer it is not created so good thing is try to ping that uh, vm from the scom server and it should be reachable okay so let's go ahead and uh, click on this vm and click on manage it is going to install agent i haven't configured something so i'm going i know i'm going to get the error and here it is i got the error it's failed and why it's failed let's check agent installation was not successful so here you can see it says this system doesn't have supported version of open ssl installed okay so let's go and check so you can see it's a 1.1.1 and uh, its supported version is 1.0 okay so that is the main problem so what I can do in this situation, I have one more VM that is Ubuntu 16 and I have started that. 
let's see if I can ping this server from XCOM so what we'll do we'll monitor that server okay so let's ping 1 to 16 and it is reachable okay so let's go and change some settings we need to edit this discovery scope so now IP address is actually changed so it's 35 and I think credential is also different okay other than that all good click on apply ok and uh, save now click on discover so that's why I said installing agents on Linux server is really difficult I means if you have a single distribution in your environment then uh, easy but still you know some has some different because it package library if there is something missing you are going going to get the error so you need to just go to the details and find what is the error what it says and just go ahead and resolve that issue okay so in this case you can see it says sign certificate and manage why because you know uh, I have tried this before and I was able to install agents on it but signing certificate was failing and I have a purpose because I want to show you what is the issue here okay so let's try to manage select this and manage once again we are going to get the error once again so just wait for a minute so actually agent is installed but while signing the certificates it is giving error and I want to show you the error actually so here what it says that SSL certificate contains a common name doesn't that doesn't match the host name okay so here you can see the computer name is 1216.webos.3.0 okay uh, so let's go to this VM check the host name so host name is 1216 only on this server but actually uh, when we create the DNS entry it takes a 1216 dot then domain name we need to change the host name as per the DNS entry so what we can do is uh, just write sudo nano etc slash host name okay click yes and then one two dot web os three dot o and then control x y to save and hit enter so now if i check host name it's so the problem is actually we need to reboot the server i just forget it okay so vm is up let's check the host name now and you can see it's changed let's try to install once again click on previous and click on manage so now it failed at validation okay and why because we need to actually override because the server has certificates with old name we need to update that override that one so what we can do go to this etc microsoft scx pin so this is a command so slash etc microsoft scx bin tools scx ssl config hyphen f hyphen v oops oh okay I think uh, it's not ETC yeah actually it's OPT okay so here you can see it says permission denied okay because actually I didn't use sudo use sudo and then hit enter okay so now it says generated certificate okay let's go to scom server and select this one and click on manage okay so why I 
do this because you know so when you see the errors it's stuck in your mind like what is the error and then when you are doing the things you will understand why it's so uh, so here you can see validating managing now so validation is complete so all good now it is going to manage the server okay so i think this detail button is really helpful to give the more detail about the errors okay so just click on details and uh, understand what is the error okay let's discuss the error that i faced so first one is dns configuration if you are able to reach the server but still getting the dns configuration error then ask windows team to check if uh, reverse lookup is uh, configured or not okay and then uh, you will get uh, validation error okay so validation error it is also a common one so if the host name that you are getting on the scom is not matching with the host name that is on the vm okay then you are going to get the validation error okay so certificate is not going to validate because the name is different and then you must have mp's linux mp's installed first of all okay otherwise you are going to get the errors this is how we install linux agent on the server so it is successful click on done and let's see where it goes click on monitoring and uh, unix linux computers and here you can see it says Ubuntu 16. This means there is no data available right now. Okay, so it's grayed out. It will take few minutes to become healthy. It's showing as healthy, but the check mark is grayed out because uh, the connection is broken right now. It means it actually takes time, and then it will become green. Okay. Uh, let me fix that SSL issue on Ubuntu 18 okay because if i check ssl version on 16 it should be 1.0 okay so here you can see now this uh, ubuntu 16 is showing as healthy okay so i will fix that open ssl version most probably i will uh, create one more video on that so i will just show you how i did that and once again happy new year to all thanks bye bye